nights, flatline. There were some tones of night I could not bear, that I could not gather in my arms to hold on to. Small town nights, cigarette nights, plumage swelling and drifting into a concave sky. Nights where I harnessed myself to the canola fields, alfalfa leaves, elk sightings, unelegiacally, with no magnitude of loss, no understanding of letting go. That was 14 years ago, and now the echo is half dream made of skimmed milk and cane sugar stars. The other half, radio static, the white noise of prairies 20 minutes outside of the city, where, for miles, all you will ever see is that one spotted calf walking into the sunset. Smaller nights, smaller even than the needle of a broken compass flickering back and forth, then hovering briefly as if to say, you have reached your destination or perhaps you are not lost. Then pointed toward the glimpse of spruce trees outside my bedroom window, holding close all of the stray cats underneath as each stammer of lightning flinched across. Those are the nights that dial, that leave a message and hang up, hang you up under the moon into a storm into solitude.